Hey everybody, how you doing? We've got a bit of a problem. Something's not quite right with the digester. After a promising start, something seems to have either not continued as it was meant to, or it was never right in the first place and I just thought it was. Let's see how much gas we have now. So we're not getting much gas, which is telling us that the, uh, the actual digestion process isn't happening as we would have hoped it would have been. So let's have a look at what the, the issues could be and then go kind of try and go through them one by one to work out what's going on. Because let's have a look at um, the temperatures. If you look at this, the graph here, what we can see is the temperature's gone along <clears throat> pretty nicely. Then I turned off the digester and it declined over three days. Then when I turned the heat on, it gained the heat pretty, pretty quickly as well. The heat loss from that was about 0 0.17 degrees an hour. Um, and then when we put the heater back on again, we gained about 1.2 degrees an hour. So that's about two point something kilowatts to heat that back up in that in that time so overall the temperature is fine we want between 25 and 35 degrees what we could be an issue is pH so we've got our pH universal test papers soak one of these can't really see this in this lovely dirty cup but that's some of the juice that's come out Pair. So you can see that we're about four to five, maybe, which is not where we want to be. We want to be more up here, or definitely further down here, which is not what we need for the bacteria that we want. So that's suggesting that we need to increase the pH and introduce some of the, the bacteria that we want. So we have there's um, a few different stages. You want a few different times of bacteria, and the last kind of bacteria are the methanogenic bacteria, and they need the neutral pH. But we have other bacteria in there that, that do the initial stages of the digestion. What we're missing is we're missing that last stage and the conditions for that last set of bacteria. I think the way, one of the ways to deal with that is we're gonna try and put some of this natural drain cleaner in there and see what that does. If that doesn't work, then it's more cow poo. The issue at the moment with the cow poo and the manure is that all the cows have been taken off the forest where they got their poo before. So we have to go and find a farm where they've been taken to and ask for some of their poo. All right, guys, well, that's enough for today. What I'm hoping you're seeing here is that even though there's loads of um, resources on the internet for how to, to get these guys going, it's not as simple. I'm definitely not finding it as simple as it looks. So and what I'm trying to do is take everyone through these, this process to under, so people can understand if they want to do it, what the issues are. Um, and finally, hopefully, we'll get to a point where we'll see, is it actually worth it? Once it's up and running, we'll see actually, is it worth it in terms of the, the, the stuff, things, the resources you get out of it. But we've got to get there first. Um, what we've been doing, this, we've been doing this for a month now, I guess. And um, we're closer to understanding it in a bit more detail and understanding what we're missing, what we need to put in there. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are, if you've got any ideas, put them down below. Um, if you're not subscribed, then you made it to the end. So I'm hoping you enjoy watching. Subscribe below as well. And um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.